Hello everyone and welcome to another bonus episode of Rag Plays Aiden Chronicles the First Mage. Uh, you guys will be seeing this episode probably after I get back from uh, Chaos Island and Namer's Isle, so if you see new loot, you know, I'm putting the cart before the horse here, but if you see new loot on my character that you cannot account for uh, between those episodes, this is what I'm going to do. The reason why I'm doing this beforehand is because I think it dis disappears after, uh, but number number two reason is that I don't want to spoil the enemy type that we're going to be seeing up here. I think it would be a good reveal. It would It is going to be a good reveal. It will have been a good reveal on <laughs> the on Cradwa's Isle and on the Chaos Isle if we happen to run into them, but we're going to go back to the bridge. And uh, I don't know why Alaron would be doing this in-game. Uh, maybe he had a mind to go back to Talawak and get some some certain supplies, or perhaps go back to Guernia before he goes on the boat. But whatever the reason, um, perhaps he was sent on an errand out here to see where a merchant caravan was located for a local merchant. But the point is, there's something very bad on this bridge. I'm going to drop a quick save, even though whatever happens, happens. Um, so here we go, some real serious combat is about to take place and um, yeah so we have here we have four high-ranking chaos minions these guys uh, we have the guys with the tail I can show them off I'm not gonna go and hit the the wrong button to start we have guys with the tail they have chaos swords those are chaos slayers and these guys with the shield and these big wide blades are chaos lieutenants and um, some of the highest ranking minions in the game. They also drop fantastic loot, so I hope I can uh, do what I can here. I can't really do anything with Keelan right now. I don't want to do that, first of all. I want to attack one of these guys. I think... Oh God, Do we go for the lieutenants, or do we go for the slayers first? I think... I think I'm going to go for the Slayer, because I think they'll be easier to hit to start with. I do think that this battle is going to be one of the ones that we play keep away with, or at least try to, and that was a big mistake, apparently. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to get over to this sort of area and try and get the characters to have a, unifri uh, a unified, unified front against them. They're going to begin casting some very serious spells. Haste is very bad for us because it gives them a lot of turns in a row. Uh, if something bad happens here, I will flee. Uh, I'm not I'm not afraid to do that. Maybe I scrap this entire episode, but we are going to do our damnedest. He is giving resistances to Elemental on all of them, and I'm going to try and cast like Stupidity on some of them, I think, just to get rid of their, their spell casting capabilities or their ability to uh, cast good spells. So we've already got debilitation being cast on us, which is a strength debuff. Uh, seeing a lot of new stuff pop up here, so all of us are going to hit for slightly less damage now. I don't imagine that's too high of a level, but it could be. So it's really unfortunate that we all got snagged with that, but uh, since these guys are presenting themselves, presenting their backsides to us, I can't even get close enough. God damn it. Well, I'm not going to force the matter. I'm going to let them come to me. We have Wall of Bones being cast on us. That is very, very bad. So Keelan is no longer able to take turns, and I have to be very vigilant of the situation that uh, this no longer happens. Can I get a Stupidity off so that they have a harder time casting spells? I'd really need to get a Dispel Necro onto her, ideally. I can get all of them, I think? Most of them. Let's try. Resist the spell, we get it in on the Slayer, we do not get it in on that Slayer. That was it, so one out of one out of three. That's Wall of Bones on two people. So uh, at risk of this going terribly, we're going to run away now. Come on. Yeah, so, uh, we can't do this. <laughs> Fuck this noise, this never happened. Hey, we're back in Port Said. 
no harm done. <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. We came in entirely too close for that, but, uh... <laughs> shit. Um... That was really dumb. I should have left when immediately when they started casting Wall of Bones. I forgot lieutenants even had Wall of Bones, I'll be completely honest. But you know what? We are going to live with that mistake. I'm not going to just reload the uh, the save and do it all over again because that would be, I think, a little bit scummy. I don't think I could. I don't think I can beat them. It's just it's not something this party can do right now. So I'm going to heal us all up. So sorry about that, guys. I had to step away uh, very briefly. Um, my thoughts on on just how that went with the Chaos Lieutenants and the Chaos uh, Slayers. Um, we almost did not escape that. Uh, it was a very dangerous move. I don't remember that particular combat being quite as uh, quite as difficult as it was, and we were lucky to have escaped that, because three out of four of our party members had Wall of Bones, and I would have I let that go through if it had not gone to our turn, thankfully. Um, that's just the deadly combination of haste, wall of bones, and other offensive spells. We had, you know, Keelan take a 40 damage hit. We had uh, Beacon uh, get slammed with an Earth Smite. I think it was Beacon or Artro, one of one of the two. And we, you know, it, we could have gone very, very poorly, and that would have been the end of the run. Um, just thoughts on that. Do I think I could have handled it any better than I did? I think that I forgot to use Mirror, and Mirror might well have been a game changer in that. I'm not sure if Alaron had a had a turn before that, but I know he had at least one turn. I could have feasibly cast Mirror on myself and been completely immune to all of their spells, and I might have been able to kite them around. I just don't trust that I could have done that with only one character. I would have had to get around to each of them and cast Dispel Necro, and they would probably have Wall of Bones recast on them almost instantly, I would think, to get rid of the, uh, the to get rid of Wall of Bones, the effect. Not to mention, I think we probably would have lost a few party members in the process, because Keelan was so low, and they would have just kept smacking her with Earth Smite and whatever. I wouldn't be able to have saved all my party members. Maybe if I had have gotten Mirror off on, like, the first turn, or something like that. But Mirror itself is a single target spell, so I can only shield one person at a time, and I have to do it on all four. So I'd have to get four turns on Alaron relatively quick to make that somewhat feasible, I think. So no, I don't think I could have handled it any better. I was really looking forward to, cl to cash in on the amazing loot those guys would have had. They would have had like things like Royal Plate Mail and, you know... Chaos shields, chaos swords, all the good stuff, basically. And it's too bad we're not going to get to see that, but the game really doesn't want us. That's just, just my way of knowing. It does not want us going back to Talawak at this point. I can't say I blame it, because it does interrupt the flow of the game. And, uh, and there's the lighthouse in the background. I didn't even notice you could see it from here. You see that up there? Huh. It's weird how you can't see the town from up there, though. Uh, anyway... No, I, I don't think the game wants us to be going back that way right now, and if I had to write something off, considering we were right outside the inn when we fled, it took us back here for whatever reason, um, maybe I'll retcon this a bit and say this was all a dream. Maybe an assault on our mind from the woman who sings by the shore of our demise and of uh, Chaos's um, victory over us, essentially. She wants us to fail in our mission. We've derived that much. Someone in this town tried to invade our mind while we were asleep in the inn, and waking up in the middle of the night, we managed to fight them off, but just barely. I think that makes for a really great, uh, a really great story piece, because it doesn't really, in hindsight, it doesn't make sense why my character would wander all the way out there. Uh, to go fight that bridge. Like, I just I had no way of justifying it. I had to think of a way, because I wanted to show it off. I think it's it's important that a person knows that before they, you know, I'm going to just go back to Talawag. It's good that the, the LP can show people if they're going to be playing this game what not to do at the same time as what to do. So, you know, unless you're super prepared, unless you've ground up a whole lot, which I have not in this, uh, 
in this particular let's play don't think you can handle those guys they are they are not uh, they're not to be trifled with and we almost didn't walk away from that uh, one more turn from a chaos lieutenant it would have been it I don't think Aleron it's another thing that our, our party members lack is proficient willpower it's it's not good enough on most people even on beacon who is a 20 uh, that's only about one third as high two thirds as high as it can get um, and Artro's like halfway, Keelan's halfway, we're halfway, like we got a 50%, it's it's a coin flip, whether we'd ever resist that thing, and I think that must be a very high ranked spell if they have Wall of Bones that can reach out that far, I suppose, at least a, a rank 5 or 6, and I'd really like that spell, I know where to get it in fact, but uh, de definitely not yet, I don't think it'd be good for our good for us to go all the way over that way. We can't even get back there now anyway, so it's out of the question. It's, it's not possible. Unless I somehow snuck by them, which is so unlikely. But uh, anyway, guys, I do thank you for allowing me to elaborate on my sort of idea here and seeing where I'm coming from. Like, I, I normally, I don't like fleeing from battles, first of all, because I think it doesn't fit the character, and it... It's a bit cheese, isn't it? Because how would how would the character get away from four chaos, two chaos lieutenants, two chaos slayers, and four probably spell weavers or sorcerers, maybe a combination of the two? How would the character get away from that when three out of four party members are down? How the hell would he carry anyone out of there? It doesn't make any sense. So really, this would have to have been a dream. If we are to survive this in any feasible way, this would have had to have been a, an attempted invasion upon our mind, attempted possession in the middle of the night, and Aleron was just barely able to fight it off. Uh, now, if ever, he knows the critical importance to become named, because more this, this may happen more in the future. He doesn't know. Um, so again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time on Rag Plays Aiden Chronicles the First Mage, where we will finally set out for the islands and uh, see what there is to be seen there. See you next time.